Hey, it's time for Dirt Daily, and today is kind of a sad day here at the truck farm because the M715 is leaving. This is the M715 Jeep truck. Uh, this thing was on dirt every day three times. Uh, once we rescued it out of the woods with that Gladiator tow truck, the Gladiator tow. Uh, then we took it overlanding out in Sand Hollow. That's when we built this big bed rack thing that folds out and uh, took it to Sand Hollow, Utah and drove around the sand dunes out there. And then we did a final episode where we swapped one ton axles under it, redid the suspension, put power steering on it and took it on a trail here in California. And um, I love this truck. It's really cool, but like a little baby bird, sometimes you gotta kick them out of the nest and send them on their way. And today the M715 is gonna leave and go to its new owner. This truck is gonna go live the best life it can down in Texas. It's a big truck, great for a big state. Um, now it's on 40 inch tires. These are actually the 40 inch Mickey Thompson Baja Boss tires that were under my Forerunner. Um, so it's bigger than ever. Uh, in fact, let's do a quick little walk around on it and then I'm gonna show you how to start this thing because it's kind of a finicky old truck, but it's still awesome. Check it out. So up front, we have a Dave Chappelle built front bumper. Um, this is an original worn stamping bumper, perfect for an 8274. It had an 8274 on here, but I stole that and kept it because it's gonna go on something else. Uh, there's a couple light force lights and the bumper fits in here perfect. Um, up on top is one of my favorite things. This is the Cascadia 4x4 solar panel. So this thing sticks to the hood of the M715 and then it has some wires that run up underneath the hood and inside the cab to the battery. And that thing has been one of the best upgrades I've ever put on a truck. This thing always keeps the batteries charged. This thing always seems to want to crank over. It doesn't always start, but the battery is always in good shape. And out here in California, where it gets hot, batteries seem to die every summer. And this truck always has had a great battery. So I am going to get one of these and put them on some of my other rigs. I'm sad to see this one go, but this is a great product that I completely support. Cascadia 4x4 solar panel. All right, let's see what else is in here. Let's pop the hood. This is the Chevy Straight 6. Um, it's a tired old engine. It doesn't start very well, but when it runs, it runs like a sewing machine. We put power steering on it. The power steering pump leaks a bit, but it's an old truck. I also put power brakes on it when we did the late model axle swap. And when I say late model, these are actually the four wheel drive axles that we put under the motorhome when we built the four wheel drive motorhome. And then when that truck got torn apart, uh, I stole the axles and put them under the M715. So it has a 60 in the front, kingpin style, a great axle. And then in the back has a 70. And those are both locked up. Uh, we also have some Tom Woods drive shafts, the shocks, on this are from a Jeep Gladiator. Um, I wouldn't say they were the best shocks, but they're all right. Um, they did okay. I would probably end up replacing them. They're Fox shocks. I think this truck is just a little bit too heavy for the shocks, or maybe the shocks are kind of blown out. Uh, the tires are these 40 inch 13, 50, 17. Mickey Thompson Baja Boss on just some steelies, which I think looks great. This is a cool thing about M715s is it has a storage compartment right here. This one has a spare drive shaft in it. So if there's any issues with drive shafts, uh, <clears throat> the future owner has a spare. There's also, uh, the way this truck is set up, it has a divorced 205 transfer case which is also the same transfer case that was in the motorhome. And then inside, it has a brand new set of best top seats. I guess not brand new, but I mean, they're still in great shape. This one, that might be some bird poop. Just ignore that. Um, I really like these best tops in this truck. I think it looks really perfect. Um, and 
this truck is just so cool. It does need a new windshield. It's kind of got a big old smash in there. Um, and then the top that's on it is not really for an M715. It's actually a fiberglass top for a deuce and a half truck. There's a couple mirrors we threw on it. Um, there's a couple wrinkles in the flares, but especially this back one, but they could all be hammered out or just left because it kind of looks cool. Um, the bed is not the same color as the cab. So I'm not sure if it's been swapped on or not. Here's a jerry can holder. Um, we just have a gas can or a gas tank in the back, which is not where it would originally be, of course, but um, it works back there. You could put one in underneath or in the way, way back. There's plenty of room. Overall, this truck is just cool. Let's see if we can get it to run. I like how they like the door panels are just flat old sheet metal. The windows are in the front doors, but they don't seem to go up. So that might be something that the next owner would get to figure out. Um, yeah, let's fire this thing up, see if it'll start. Oh, look at this, this is one of my favorite things. I love the old Jeep's like nameplate on the throttle pedal. What a cool truck. These are the three things you're gonna want in order to start the M715. A step ladder, the keys with this funny little key ring, which might be from an alligator's eyelid. I'm not really sure. And a can of starting fluid. You're gonna want a step ladder just so you can step up so you can get to the engine because this thing's kind of tall. Then you're gonna lean in here and you're gonna unscrew this wing nut on the top of the air cleaner. Don't take it all the way off. You just need to have an opening there so you can spray some starting fluid and it'll drip down into the carb. Grab your starting fluid. Don't point it towards yourself and just put some right in there. Don't spray it in the end of the air cleaner because if you spray it in the end, then you're gonna soak your air filter with starting fluid, and then when or if it backfires, it'll burn your air filter up. Trust me, it does that. Next, bring your step stool over to the door and hop up in this thing. And right here, and right here is where you put the key in. Now you're going to turn the key once, but that's not actually how you start it. You go down here to this old school starting button, make sure the truck is in neutral, and then put your foot right on that. That button right there is what engages the starter. And it'll crank over a little bit like that, and then not start. Pump the throttle a half dozen times. At which point, put it back into gear and hop back out and go put some more starting fluid on the air filter. A little more starting fluid. Step stool. Climb back into big tall truck. Neutral.
line back out. Come back around. Double check this fuel filter. Looks like it's got fuel in it. Probably needs changed. Come back to more starting fluid. Once the M715 is started, you kind of got to just let it sit. You don't want to you don't want to mess with it. You don't want to hop in and stab the throttle and try to peel out really quick. This is where the M715 it's like the M715's having its first cup of coffee in the morning. It's just it's like it doesn't want to talk to anybody. It doesn't want to do anything. It needs to kind of get warmed up. It needs to kind of like Think about what it's got to do that day. And usually that involves sitting here, spitting and sputtering until that straight six runs like an old sewing machine. Not that it's like a perfect sewing machine, just like it'll, it'll sew a couple stitches and then it might miss a stitch and then it'll sew some more. But I mean, if you were, if you really wanted to drive this truck every day, you'd probably pull that straight six out and ls it or do whatever that sort of stuff but um it has so much character it's kind of perfect i'm gonna just let this thing idle i'm not gonna talk to it um i gotta figure out how to strap down this uh hard top or put it in the bed so that it doesn't blow away on the long trip to texas and then uh yeah that's just about it it's such a great old truck the new owner is going to love this thing. Um, I'm pretty sure this will be down in Texas doing Texas stuff. Probably out herding some steers or, um, I don't know, doing Texas stuff. Don't forget to go back in and tighten up that wing nut. Also, even though you close the hood, you 
want to make sure you put these latches on the corners. Don't forget to latch those corners right there because there's no latch. There's no like pool cable like on a modern car. Um, gosh, this thing's cool. I put the hardtop in the back, strapped it down for its long trip to Texas. I am probably going to regret selling this truck because it's so cool, but I have a lot of cool trucks and the guy that wanted to buy this has been messaging me consistently for months now. And so I was like, you know what? You're gonna love this thing. So here it is, the last of the M715. Maybe I'll get another one some other day but this thing's headed to Texas. That's it for this Dirt Daily. We'll see you guys next time. Say goodbye to the M715. If you're in Texas and you see this thing cruising around, give the guys a wave. Buckle up for safety. One last cruise.